So there's very, very few fake jiu-jitsu black belts, but occasionally there are some, and they get outed, and there's some hilarious videos online of guys getting well, where busted. Did, where does Steven Seagal fall in that line? He is a legitimate Aikido black belt. In fact, he was an instructor, one of the very first Americans to teach at a dojo in Japan. Oh, no shit. Yeah, so Steven Seagal, wow. but the martial art is the questionable thing. It's the martial art of Aikido is, an, uh, it's really a martial art that was created to disarm people with swords. The idea was that you lost your sword in combat and someone was coming at you with a sword. Last ditch effort is you had to be able to use someone's momentum against them. You had to be able to use, some guy comes at you with a sword, you have to be very adept at catching their arm and flipping them over. Here's Seagal. It's very subtle, right? Let's, let's not use this because it's, it's, it's easy to poke fun at him when he's old, but let's go to that black and white one. See that black and white one down there? Go to that. If you go back, see that one right there, Steven Seagal? Go to that one. Now, there's some, some footage of him when he was young. Yeah, this is it. Go full screen. He's legit. He is very legit. And he was thin. It was a, a different thing. Like, but the thing is, nobody comes at you like yeah, this. Yeah. And a fucking NCAA wrestler would shoot a double on him and take him down faster than you can possibly imagine. I mean, this does not work. It's a dance. Well, it works. It, it works if someone doesn't know what they're doing or if you have a lot of physical attributes. Like Seagal's a huge guy. He's a yeah. very big guy. And he probably could pull that off on a lot of people who don't know how to fight. Yeah. Now here, he, this is what it was about. What Aikido was really about, this is Kendo though. They're using swords, which maybe they do use some of that in Aikido. But what Aikido was originally created for, I hope I'm not mistaken, was learning how to disarm, like that. The guy yeah. comes at him with a knife and he flips the guy and takes the knife away. He's using the guy's energy against him. That was the original intention of Aikido. But in terms of Japanese martial arts, Aikido was never thought of as the most effective. Judo is far more effective because judo involves people grabbing people and flipping them and slamming them on the ground. Like... There's a great video of an old judo master. See if you can find this video. There's this guy, he looks like he's about 80 years old and he weighs about 13 pounds. And he is, you can tell, especially someone who knows martial arts, you can tell when someone's just giving in. The problem with a lot of these demonstrations of Aikido is guys are just giving in. Like this old dude, watch this old dude. The old dude on the right-hand side is so much bigger than the other guy. And they're walking the guy around and like, he's really throwing this yeah, guy. Yeah, right. This is legit. Like, this guy's trying not to get thrown, and he doesn't know what to do. Like, he trips him to the ground there. But this old guy is tiny, but he's using perfect leverage and perfect technique. Yeah. And fuck, he looks really old in this picture. Like, the guy's trying to throw him there, and he can't pull it off. Yeah. And he can't pull it off because the older guy has perfect position and perfect... What is the name of this video? Perfect leverage. Look at this. Whoa. Boom. 90 years old judo master is the name of the video online. And I don't know if he was really 90. But Damn. he certainly looks like he could be 90. But this old guy just knows how to... You notice also the back of his heels are always like lifting up. He's moving. Yeah. And this guy's trying to throw him. And he's just... And the guy who's trying to throw him appears to be a black belt. At least he's wearing a black belt. Fucking incredible, man. It's really amazing. So judo was a much more effective martial art. And judo was actually what was taught to the Brazilians. Um, when Count Maeda went to Brazil and uh, taught people um, in Brazil, pr particularly the Gracies, they taught them Brazilian jiu-jitsu. The Gracies took Brazi what was judo at the time, and they took the ground attacks of judo and just perfected them and then honed them and changed them and made them more technical and really worked on utilizing leverage and utilizing submissions. And they, they turned that into Brazilian jiu-jitsu. So, so judo is standing as well as ground. Yes. There's a, a ground aspect of judo. Obviously, like Ronda Rousey is probably one of the most famous submission artists in the UFC, and her background was in judo. She was a, a judo player and very good at judo. She was a bronze medalist. So when she would get a hold of people, she would just fucking throw them on their ass and flip them and toss them and slam them to the ground. She just had phenomenal judo, but also a wicked arm bar. And that was because 
the niwaza, the, the ground attack ver part of jujitsu, uh, comes from judo. So there you go. Yeah, my father did judo, and he taught it to me and my brother. And then I remember my brother was bigger than me, and he used to flip the fuck out of me. <laughs> and then he did it to me one day, and my father grabbed him and flipped him down on the ground. He was like, this is not good. This, is, this isn't like passing on no. knowledge. This is just a violent family out of control. <laughs> was your dad drunk? <laughs> he was six foot two. Cigarette in his hand. Yeah, Why cigarette. Flipping yeah. Uh, fuck. Yeah, judo's legit. Judo's way more legit than Aikido. It's not that Aikido's not legit. It's Aikido is limited. like, it's a lot of pressure points and holding the wrist and There's arm a in that. different There's ways. Some of that. Yeah. Most of it is throws and learning how to take an attacker. Like if you just charge forward at an Aikido guy, and you have your, your right hand come on, like cocked and ready and just run at him and throw that punch. A really good Aikido guy is going to grab that and flip you and slam you on the ground. All right. But, you know, how often does that come up? Yeah. You know, most, especially today, when people actually know how to fight, it's just a diff. It's it's too limited. Yeah. But there's a lot of martial arts like that. Like there's certain aspects of karate that are applicable, but there's a lot of it that's really limited.